one of the key challenges of being an entrepreneur is staying motivated when everyone around you says no and that little voice in your mind needs to say yes. And how do you do that when you have family, friends, financial pressures, work pressures to deal with when everyone's saying no, to keep pushing forward for something that's so uncertain? I think it comes down to your personal passion. So I think for anyone that's, that's gonna go through the work of doing a Kickstarter, you, you did it for a reason because you were passionate about what you were trying to build and you had a vision. So it's hard sometimes, yes, but I think it just comes down to your own personal passion and usually that will keep you going. I 100% agree, it's all about your passion. Um, and when I started out with my first like, gold case thing and I put that video up, all my friends made fun of me. Um, and <clears throat> then I went from that to being more persistent. And as an entrepreneur, your persistence is gonna really satisfy people because they're just gonna say, hey, the idiot's never gonna do it. Um, but once you're successful, you really own everyone's respect. Um, so, you know, and when those people reach back out to you again and they ask for help, instead of giving the cold shoulder, just be as friendly as you possibly can and, you know, good karma does come around. Both very good things. Um, I wish that I could say the no stopped after we were successful at Kickstarter. Um, but they have kept going every day and, and every week since then, and that's two years ago. Uh, it's, it's not for everybody, but if you are passionate about what's going on, uh, it's, it's just a blast. It's so much fun to be doing what you're really working or, you know, what you're really trying to do. And those no's actually just kind of roll off your back. You might be down for a couple of days. You might be down for a week if you get bad news a couple of times. But, you know, if you're really working on something you, you, are, you think is great and you really believe in, uh, you'll pop back up.